Hey Flash fans, it's Richard from Zeus Comics. Iris and Barry's engagement in Jeopardy, Julian and Caitlin on ice, and Savitar returns. We open the episode with Wally passing the Speed Force test to save Iris in a trial with Flash and Jesse, giving hope to the team and ending with a celebration as Barry and Iris announce their engagement. But wait! A bank robbery sends Barry and Wally speeding off, but not Jesse, because she's too busy fawning over the engagement ring, which is always my dilemma, jewelry or crime fighting. On their way to the heist, Wally and Barry get interrupted by Savitar, but this time only Wally sees him and not Barry. Moments later when Wally's describing the attack to the team, Barry doesn't initially believe him. You know, crazy kids with superpowers, getting fake knocked into a wall and damaging cars. Come on, Barry. With the potential re-emergence of Savitar in Central City, Julian channels Savitar one more time who drops clues about his identity, name dropping both Zoom and Reverse Flash, eliminating them from the suspect list while telling us they were all responsible for him becoming Savitar, but it was Savitar who created himself. I am the future Flash, he proclaims. Our crew smartly decides to track a Savitar acolyte and comes across a worship ceremony and the empty Philosopher's Stone box. More interestingly, the acolyte tells Barry, I'd move up the wedding. This acolyte knows, but how? Feeling the pressure to defeat Savitar, Wally gets Sisko to vibe into the future where we watch Iris die again. But a new detail emerges. Iris isn't wearing her ring. So when Wally returns to confront Barry about his reasons for proposing to Iris, he puts doubt in Iris' mind about the engagement. Meanwhile, Julian is going through a crisis thinking he is the reason Savitar has returned. However, Caitlin fesses up to having kept a fragment of the stone in hopes to secure her powers. One will betray her. It's Savitar's prophecy come true. Wally's visions then turn dark with Savitar disguised as mom, taunting Wally that he isn't fast enough to save Iris. Wally then steals the stone fragment to deal with Savitar once and for all, but instead releases Savitar from his Speed Force prison and Wally becomes trapped himself. One will suffer a fate worse than death. This is the final prophecy revealed, right? I'm not too certain. I'm not convinced the one will die still pertains to Iris. What are your guesses? Our episode concludes with Savitar free, Wally trapped in the Speed Force, very wounded and Iris without her ring. Next on Flash, Barry suffers his own visions and demons as Barry turns to the Speed Force for answers. Get ready for returning characters in an all new Flash into the Speed Force.